the easiest is the gentlest is, is to take this one and take the big sweeper. This is the second uh, mellow ride, just trying to get back in gear, um, seeing if my hands can work well riding and uh, how Height's new bike is coming. Weather is gray and cold. The thermometer on the bike says it's 37. The thermometer in the car says it's 37. For some reason, the thermometer in the camera says it's 50 or 48. And of course, the Greenberg Road abandoned drag line, which is also a Marion. plan today is to take it easy, avoid any ice and snow, and just uh, have a good time and see if we can knock some of the rust off our mental gears. Here we're turning onto the main hall road um, that goes along parallel to Valley Road. Uh, there are some signs that we will see up here that say keep off hall road. And it'll be interesting to see if FRO provides some alternative trails that we can use instead of going on the road, I'd be happy with that. I just soon not have to uh, get out of the way of the 150-ton uh, haul road haul trucks, the 150-ton haul trucks that uh, they use to haul the coal and back to the Waitsville breaker, as they call it, which is the machinery that. Um, breaks the coal into smaller pieces for market. Here we are climbing up the hill to uh, the big new Marion. Here we're going down to Heights Beach. Uh, we noticed it last week, this new lake that, I mean, it's obviously been here a long time, but we didn't know about it. I'm going to let you do it and, and tell me how it is. And so, uh, Height wants, is all excited to go down and see what it's like. So, Height survived the, uh, his run down the, the fairly steep uh, rocky uh, trail here, so I let him get down. And, and, before I decided to follow. Most of my hesitation was simply that I hadn't been down it before, so I wanted to make sure that it was okay. If it was drier, there'd be no challenge at all to this. Um, it's pretty muddy and slick and a bit of snow, but it's really not very, very thrilling place to ride. Now you can see the waters of the, of the lake. And you can see the two bikes side to side, my uh, 17 in the front and uh, heights 18 in the background. A little cold to go swimming in the in the lake, so we're heading back up.
got a little more speed going up Fisher Hill this time, so it should be a little easier. This is the Valley Road parking lot, the lot number three. So take a quick step up. It goes onto the paved up Valley Road up just the other side of that trailer and the hall truck. This is one of the official parking areas that are recommended for riding the FRO lands. Just like last week, when you're at speed on the haul roads, it feels a whole lot colder than the camera's time. I'm going to try to draft him and see if I can get out of the wind. Maybe it'll be warmer. signs? Yeah, what does that mean? They're, they don't want us on the haul road. Yeah, I don't see how you get to four boys to here without going on the haul road. Now we're taking the trail up to the dark desert. Um, the, where we're parked, it's called dark water, and there's, well, there is water up in the dark desert. Uh, everybody calls it that. This particular section of trail has been cleaned up by the FRO folks. We saw a grader out on it uh, last November, knocking down the big rocks and making it a lot easier to take. I think you could get a, a fairly normal pickup truck, or at least a 4x4 pickup truck up this. Not a nice view of the valley. trails off the dark desert area, but this one looks like it's got a lot of snow on it, so we're going to turn around. There's a lot of trails up in this area that we haven't explored. Most of them are dual track or ATV wide. 
not that much single track that we were uh, seeing here, but there's trails heading off on both sides as we go along. We just haven't had, had time to explore this area. Pretty steep and rocky. Uh, thankfully, the snow really wasn't an issue on it. I don't know what caused that uh, crash, but it was low speed, no, no real uh, harm done, so I just put in the gear and kept on going. down and go boom. like that. That's why I'm not going down it. Here we're going down to a new area um, and I'm stalling out going downhill which is kind of discouraging. You should be able to go downhill without having to work. The mud is very sticky. find a connection from here back up to the area we just were in but this is not going to be it it's very soft Escape the mud pit. Yeah. 
now we're riding up to what we call Pond 1. There are two ponds up on the side uh, in this area of dark water. And we named them Pond 1, which is the first pond we found. And Pond 2 was, amazingly, the second pond. Climbing fool. <laughs> so now that we've seen pond one, we'll take the trail to pond two. Which makes us go through the creek. Actually, we go through the creek twice, right here. And the creek water is very cold because it's all snow melt. By this point, I was very tired. Uh, my hands were beat up from the handlebars going over the rocks. So I was not really a, ha a happy camper. Here we are coming back to the park. You can see my car, SUV, truck, whatever it's called, the trail. I didn't either. 